Hello friends, today in this video we will see how we can draw a coach curve using QT Creator. So to draw coach curve in QT Creator, uh, there are some simple steps to draw coach curve or the uh, for the function of coach curve. So what is coach curve? Coach curve is drawn by dividing a single line segment into four equal parts and uplifting the um, between two parts in an equilateral at triangle that is by 60 degree. So this is uh, how the coach curve is drawn. For example, here, we have dividing the divided the line into three equal part actually, but the middle part is uplifted towards work, uh, towards here upside, and the angle forming this middle middle part is of uh, sixty degree. Uh, now uh, we have to implement this coach curve uh, <clears throat> in QT Creator now to carry, uh, draw the coach curve. We has given this x one and this uh, x5 so the first step is to calculate the dx so dx here dx is the distance between x1 and distance between x2 y2 so this is the dx our so this is our dx so this is our dx so we have to calculate dx so dx is calculated as x5 minus x1 divided by 3 because uh, I clear that in every we are dividing every single line segment into three equal parts, but the lines after forming three equal parts are four because they are the middle segment is again divided into two uplifted uplifted part. So the next step, our next step is to cal uh, our next step is to calculate the uh, x x2 y2 so what is x2 y2 x2 y2 and x3 y3 x2 y2 is this point here and x3 y3 is the part which is a point which is uplifted and again x4 y4 is next point and x5 and y5 is given coordinate to us so x2 y2 is obvious we have we can find x2 y2 by adding this dx to x1 y1 so here we are calculating x2 y2 by adding the uh, 1 plus x1 y1 plus dx and dy then uh, x4 x4 and y4 we are calculating this by adding the double distance mean this dx and again this dx okay now the part the critical critical part which remain is to calculate this x3 and y3 now to calculate x3 there is a formula given here that is 0 0.5 multiplied by x1 plus x5 plus square root of 3 multiplied by y5 minus y1 by 6 so this is the formula by which we are uh, calculating this point x3 and y3 this formula is based on that that this is an equilateral triangle here as you can see and the triangles that mean this side is similar to here this uh, this side here and also similar to the bottom side and so the angle forming this side here is of 60 degrees so we can find out this by rotating this point here to 60 degrees so as can we can get this point so now we and uh, after calculating all the four or five coordinates we are recursively here here we are recursively calling the coach curve on each single edge that is x from x1 to x2 y2 so as we can get the coach curve as described here then here and then here in this last part so now we will see the implementation of coach curve. Now we will see the implementation of coach curve for that void main parameter. Coach, there is a method we are creating. So coach method will have parameters. The first parameter is the iteration number. So int it. The next parameter will be int x1 then int y1 then int x5 int y5 so this will be the mm, uh, parameters for this after that we have to see what's the uh, here okay 
Okay, I think it's after save. Okay, okay. It's fine. Then we have to write in the <clears throat> okay. syntax here, simple syntax here, here. Yeah, uncle, it's my mistake. Okay, now we will declare x3 comma y3 comma x3 comma y3 comma x4 comma y4. Okay, x4 and int distance x and distance y d by. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, if our iteration is exactly equals to zero, then we have to draw line b underscore line. Line from x1 comma y1 to x5 comma y5. So this will draw line else. Else in the else part we have to in the else part. The else part we have to get dx equals to the formula is x5 minus x1 by Three as we are dividing line segment into three part and dy equals dy equals to y five minus y one by three. <clears throat> then x two equals to d x x one plus dx. Then y two equals to y one plus dx. And then <clears throat> Then x3 equals to x3 equals to we will type cast it into in to draw it on the screen 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by x1 plus x5 plus x1 plus x5 plus square root sqrt square root of 3 multiplied by x5 minus oh, sorry y5 minus y1 by 0 y1 by 6 by 6 y1 by 6 and then y3 it was to n dot 0 0.5 multiplied by y1 plus y5 plus square root plus square root of 3 square root of 3 multi divided by x1 x1 minus x5 by 6 okay this is the formula and then x4 equals to it is x1 plus 2 this two times distance therefore x1 can say 2 multiplied by dx plus x1 okay and uh, y4 equals to 2 multiplied by dx plus y1 okay now uh, x minus x1. now we have to calculate we have to call the coach curve for every time so coach it minus one each time the iteration will be given uh, will decrease therefore y1 sorry x1 uh, comma y1 comma x2 comma y2 Okay. Now I will call this function for each segment. Therefore, from x1 to x2, x2 to x3, x3 to x4, x4 to x5. Okay, for that purpose, I will pass the select this. Two. Okay, so this will be I am going to change three, four, and at last this will be. Fine. Now I want to call I want to call this coach curve function after clicking a button. For that, I have added a button already inside the UI. Here you can see the UI. So I will call after I'm getting the value of iteration from the user. So I will click on this button and select go to slot. After we put click event and after getting into slot, I will okay. This is good. Okay. Then I will call here a function uh, coach curve coach. So first of all, I will declare the int iteration equals to UI. UI. 
it takes i will see the name of that text edit it is text edit okay so edit text in text edit in plain text dot to int okay so this is the method now i will call port it comma uh, the x1 coordinate i am giving here the x1 coordinate i will give as 100 and 100 comma 200 comma 420 comma 200 okay so this is the x1 x1 coordinate and i iterations we are getting from the user so this is the function now let's try to run the program if error occurs okay where is there on 94 what did it say uh, okay so here i have to give this okay now it will run properly Okay, it has already drawn a coach bar. Why it has drawn uh, like that? Uh, okay, I have all the function already here, but uh, there is some error, I think. Maybe we don't need it. Okay, so uh, uh -huh. one thing I have declared DDD and drop pixel already. So we will let's check for the error uh, dx equals to x by u minus x1 by 3 and dy equals to y5 minus y1 by 3 or uh, sorry y, dy then dx1 plus dx y1 plus here we should add dy okay then int x multiplied by x1 square root of 3 multiplied by y1 and this is okay and this is correct uh, y1 plus y5 plus square root of 3 okay okay this is fine now dx plus one and dy plus y one. Okay, then calling function. Okay, so this code is now correct. I think it should work. <clears throat> I will give iteration number as three iterations, and I will say draw. So it is not drawing. Let's. I will figure out the error. So I have figured out the error that here in Y4 we have accidentally, I have accidentally added DX, here we should need DY. Now I will run the program again. Um, so it is taking time to build. Uh, so until it builds you can, okay. So I will add now to draw. Okay, this is code so Now I will add iterations as file. Now let's check. So five iterations which is drawing the curve. Run, I will run again. I will give directly as five iterations and draw. This is what the curve has drawn using quotes curve. This is what that's it for today's video. See you in the next video. Bye.